So Get Screen Me is a way to get access to other computers and control them remotely. It might be a computer you own and you might want to find some information on it while you're away. It could be that you are a company who offers customer support and you want to access someone else's computer to help them fix it. Or it could be, and I'm going to demonstrate it like this today, where you've got a family member who needs a bit of help on their computer and you want to go onto their computer and fix something. <laughs> You'll like this video. Hopefully, I'll fix and not break my mum's computer. Uh, have a look at the link in the description. Uh, it's a great discount link. And for that price, it might be worth having this. Always handy if you do want to help somebody out. And thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, where I try and do honest reviews of software and also bring you great deals, sometimes some of them very time limited. So do subscribe, click the notification button, and you will always get them when I release the videos. Let's jump in and let's have a look at Get Screen Me. Okay, so let's have a look at the Get Screen Me dashboard. And there's quite a few ways you can connect devices remotely. Um, one is permanent access, and this would be for either your own personal machines, if you have a desktop and a laptop and you might be working away and want to get some information off your desktop, or it could be within your company. And, um, you know, within the support, you could set up, depending on your package, all of the devices on there and, you know, spy on people. I don't mean spy on people, but you could do, but also give them technical support within your workplace. And it's very easy. You can see I've got my desktop here, which at the moment is offline, but if I want to set it up on another machine it can be a windows mac linux or android device and you just give them the little bit of software to download onto their device and once they've downloaded that and installed it on each device you can set it up and you can operate that device remotely i've done that and it was really easy to do so that's one part of get screen me accessing uh, computers or devices permanently. The next one is quick support. Now, this would be, I'm going to use it in a minute. I'm going to demonstrate it uh, with my mum and I'm going to access her computer. I'm going to send her an email. But yes, you could set this up within your organization that if you want to give somebody support, you can use the quick support. And simply, if you have a look at this, uh, I've got this call set up with Jenny, but I can invite a client. Um, and all I do, and this is quite simple, you can do it a couple of ways. You can send them the invite link uh, via email. So you just copy that text, put it into an email, you know, or text message or whatever. And uh, ask the client once they're connected with you, so it could be on the phone. Okay, you're connected, right? Please enter this code. And they enter that code onto the connection page. And they will be able to join and you will be able to access their machine. Okay, so we can set up clients like that. You could also set them up if you wanted to buy a widget on your website, because depending again on what package you've got with Get Screen Me, uh, you could have this white labeled. It's not available on the plan I've got, uh, but you could set it up to your domain so that you will have the widget appearing on their website and it's easy for them to do and they won't know that it's anything to do with Get Screen Me. It looks like you've got your own uh, fancy remote access service. All right, but we. Uh, I'll just go through the rest of these very quickly. This is where you can create a team. This is the control center. So if you have a company, you can uh, set up the team there. And within that team, so this is quite an interesting piece of software. If you are a big company that does offer support, uh, you can set it up for load distribution, access control, shared access. So each member of the team um, gets, you know, you can set it specifically for them to say how much access they get and what they can do. Also, I'll just quickly show you the desktop integrations. So you've got the desktop application for Windows, the extension for Chrome. Uh, you can use it with Telegram, uh, with the Google Authenticator, Live Chat, and the Jira Service Desk. So it activates with them. And just finally, uh, there's the history of all the connections you have done. So if you were a company and you need to have a record of these to show that, you know, uh, on this time you did access someone's PC, all of your um, histories and connections will be shared there which i would imagine is very very important for data protection okay and just a couple more things for me to go through before i actually show you me connecting to a pc and hopefully the process goes smoothly um this is just the button if it's clicked red it means that when you do connect to somebody's machine it will automatically record that session on the screen if it's not clicked it won't that is just the button to click when you're ready to install the Google Chrome extension, which I've already done. 
And this is just the invite by code. So if you want to put this code on the website, you'll be able to embed that widget into your website and clients will be able to connect via your website. And that is everything. So are you ready? We're going to start the process. So we're going to click um, invite a client. And I am just going to copy this email and I'm going to send a quick email. So we'll just pause it now while I compose the email. Okay, so I've just composed this email. Obviously, if you were doing this as your business, you would have a template you would use every time you send it out. But I've just put, hi, Jenny, in brackets, that's my mum. <laughs> uh, please click this link uh, and enter this access code. You might do it the other way around where you send them that link and you're on the phone to them and you say, okay, could you enter this access code? 684-523, you see. So uh, we are going to now send the email. Right, so we are on the main screen now. And um, hopefully... If my mum can do this, <laughs> hopefully that means any of your clients will be able to do that. I'm not saying she's bad on the computer. She's okay. Uh, and I can join the meeting in advance if I want. Or hopefully it'll open automatically and give me a notification once mum has connected. Pardon? Have you done it? Yeah, do it now. <laughs> we'll leave that in. We'll leave it in. I either film these in the van, I film at my place, or when I'm at my parents over the weekend when I visited them, I film them here. And uh... <laughs> Oh, that's quite funny. So hopefully she'll get in now uh, from her remote location. Ooh. There we go. So there we go. That is showing that the uh, client is there. And I think I should be able to join now. So here we go. The client is waiting for me. So I click join. Connecting to the desktop. And there we go. That will be my mum moving the mouse around. Uh, so now I can. It is recording the session. Press record to run the session. It's all right. It's okay. Now, I should be able to take control. Let's have a look. Oh, she's work. Oh, here we go. She's typing. <laughs> Can you see what's going on here? This is quite funny. Ah, she's. Oh, you see, she's getting there. Oh, yes. Uh, and now, I, now I'm going to work out how I'm going to take control of the computer. So... Uh, Wait a second. Oh, so I am controlling the PC there. Did you see that? Um, let me just hide the chat with Jenny. I'll say, I'll, I'll, I'll just tell Jenny, I'm going to fix your laptop now. Just sit back and relax okay so i've told her that this is and i'm going to hide that now actually i can hide the chat now so i can hide the chat so now this is uh the pc and and i <laughs> and i am operating and working my mum's PC. I don't want to go into too much of the, but say I wanted to go on a program and say I wanted to scroll through. That is actually very fast. I mean, all right, I've given the game away. We are in the same house today, which is why I did this. Um, but if I wanted to open Google Chrome, I could open Google Chrome. Yeah, and you can see that I can do anything I want on the remote PC, and it is very fast. Of course, it'll vary wherever you are in the world. So just some more of the features. So file sharing, you can download or upload files uh, to the other PC. Uh, what other actions can you do? You can start. So so all of these are actually the controls within Windows. So if I click on the Windows button, it brings up the Windows. What other controls has it got? If I wanted to open Task Manager, I could open Task Manager. If I wanted to open the Control Panel, Wow, it opens the control panel on the remote PC. So you can do all of the main 
things and it's got it's got shortcut keys for some of those things i can enter full screen mode so that i'm seeing nothing but the pc um i can disable the mouse of the person on the pc i can either show or hide the cursor so that they can see or not see what i'm doing let me just close that down um i can disable the keyboard sync uh, oh, I can reboot their PC. I can do view only, so I can only see it. I can take a screenshot, quick screenshot. That will save it, so if I needed it. It's got the system info. Very old PC, still works. Core i5, look at that. <laughs> um, I can lock the panel and move the panel position. So I'm going to stop recording now, uh, and I'm going to end the session. But, yeah, I think even though I probably should not, you know, even though that was quite funny at the start, I think we'll just leave it as it is and maybe. <laughs> oh, that made me chuckle. But wow, I didn't realise that Get Screen Me had so many features, but you can see it's quite advanced. So if you are a business that, you know, needs to take full, it's quite scary what you can do, actually. Uh, but obviously, I'm sure you will set it up um, and use it responsibly. Uh, so that is really Get Screen Me accessing somebody else's PC. We are going to end the session now. Hang on a second. Stop the session. Yes. Oh, well, actually, that's me still controlling that PC. So I would actually end the session. If I was going to end it, I would click. How would I end that session? I'd just end the session there, wouldn't I? Okay, so I will end the session there. Are you sure you want to end the session? So you could do it one of two ways. You could end the session on the Get Screen Me dashboard, or, or I could actually, you know, stop the session on the remote machine stop the session okay and that'll be the session stopped so that was quite funny but we're going to leave it in because the reason i did it today was because i knew i was visiting my folks and i'd be able to get my mom set up and do it nice and easy i suppose i should have done it when i was miles away but um and the only reason she had a problem connecting at the start was i hadn't told her to connect as soon as i said yep go for it she was connected straight in flashed up and i was easy, able to access the pc and then yes what i should have done straight away was put the chat box up hi i'm phil uh didn't really get to check the um, calling the PC to talk to somebody. But to be fair, my mum doesn't really use the phone for anything apart from word processing. And she wouldn't have speakers and stuff set up. But yes, you could call them and chat to the uh, client as well. So yeah, highly recommended. Quite scary what it actually does do. The fact that you can actually control just about everything on someone's PC and even download files or upload files. But I'm sure you will use it responsibly. And also the other features where you can connect to your own PCs and desktops if you are away and you want to access them. Um, and yeah, uh, three uses really, businesses who offer customer support, you to access your desktops, or in my case, thought that was a great example really, you've got an elderly relative or someone who isn't that computer literate and you can go on and fix their PC for them, it might just be handy to have because it's not expensive, so you've always got that facility. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video, bit funny that one, but we'll leave it in like that. Um, I will see you again with another one, thanks so much for subscribing to my little channel. Um, the numbers get there and every time I see a couple more subscribers, it just makes me happy and uh, hopefully you're enjoying my videos. I will see you next time.